Google Canvas tutorial for beginners. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Canvas. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Google Canvas, you could also use my affiliate links in the description below where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And now to start, just open your browser and kindly go to gocanvas.com. But if you don't know GoCanvas, it is a platform that allows businesses to replace paper forms with mobile apps on smartphones and tablets, in which the apps can be customized to include features like GPS location, capture photo, uploads, signature capture, and integration with other business systems. And GoCanvas services are used by a variety of employees including field workers, inspectors, project managers, and sales teams. And the platform is designed to be easy to use, even for non-technical users, and provides templates and support to help customers build custom apps. And now that we know the overview about Go Canvas, we can now proceed by signing in, or alternatively, you could also click this Try It Free button right here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And to sign up, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your first name, last name, to enter your work email, company name, select your industry, company, your company size, country, phone number, and even create your own password. And as you can see under industry, you have the choices here that you can choose. And now, after filling out all of the required information, just click the Start Free Trial Now button below here. And after signing in, the next thing that you need to do is to simply activate your account by clicking this Activate Account button in the email that has been sent by Go Canvas. And upon activating your account, you will be directed on this dashboard. And as you can see in here, it will show you how you can customize your application step by step. And which from here, you can simply complete all of this step. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate here some of the options, including projects, customers, teams, submissions, configuration, and account. And under these projects, from here you will be able to see the list of your projects, the schedule, and even the submitted projects, such as the PDF documents or other data collected through Go Canvas apps. And to create new project, just click this new project button below here. And upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window. And from here, all you need to do is simply fill out the required information such as to enter the project name and from here you could also see the status of it and it is currently active you could also customize the project code the start date and end date and by clicking this create project button below here you will be able to see here that the project has now been added in our list and this feature also allows users to map data from go canvas submissions to specific projects and this allows the data to be automatically filed and organized under the appropriate project and aside from that, you could also navigate here on the left side panel, these customers, in which from here it will allow users to manage and organize their customer information within the platform. And from here, you will be able to see the list of their customers and also the sites on this platform. And by clicking this new customer, you will be able to start adding your new customer, then choose the customer type either individual or business. And after that, on this pop-up window, all you need to do is simply fill out all of the required information such as the first name, last name, customer code, your address, role, email, phone number, and preference, and below you could also enter the additional sites in here. And after filling out all of the required information until below here, you could simply click the create customer button in order to proceed adding a customer. And also these features of customers is a part of broader suite of business management tools offered by Go Canvas. Now moving on, you could also navigate here the team options, in which these options allows users to manage and organize their team members within the platform. And this feature enables users to add or remove users, edit user profiles, and manage user groups. And also to handle billing and payment, and even build forms. And now to start adding a users on your team, just click this add users on the top right corner. And upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information in here. Such as first name, last name, email, and even choose the role of this user. And after filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking add button below here. So basically, using these options, it provides a comprehensive set of tools for user management. And aside from that, you could also navigate the submissions in here, in which these options allow user to manage and process the data collected through their Go Canvas apps. And this feature provides users within the ability to control the distribution of the generated PDF reports at the end form, filing ensuring that the data collected is efficiently handled and shared as needed. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the configuration on the left side panel, including the reference data, in which from here, it allows users to configure and reference specific data within their forms or applications. 
and from here you will be able to see the reference data list and also the description and modification of it. And to add reference data, just click this add reference data button on the top right corner in which upon clicking on it, from here you can choose to upload a CSV file or import from Google Sheets, which by configuring reference data, users can streamline data entry, ensure consistency, and even enhance the efficiency of their data collection processes. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the forums option, in which this is the central feature that allows users to create, customize, and manage digital forms for data collection purposes. In the create new forms, just click this create new button on the top right corner, and you can choose either folder or mobile form. And by choosing mobile form, you will be directed on this page right here. Then below, just click the get started button to proceed. And after that, from here, you can now simply customize or create your own form using some of the editing tools. And by simply adding the fields on the left side panel, we have here text and numbers, date and time, others, check boxes, choices, and other required field that you could also set up or customize in your form. And also, it provides users with the flexibility to create templates, set up workflows, and integrate data capture elements like photo, capture signature, collection, and many more. So for instance, I'm going to create here a form about questionnaire with a multiple choice below. So for instance, I'm going to enter here questionnaire context. Then below, you could simply add other multiple field and also the multiple choices in here. And aside from other field included in a form, we could also add here checkbox, payment, link, mirror, barcode under this other section. Since you could also add here GPS, time, date. And upon simply clicking on any of this field, you will be able to see that the field has now been added in our form, in which you could also add a column if you want to in here. And now to save the changes of this form, just click the save button on the top panel and even the publish button if you want to. And on this pop-up window, you could simply choose publish to device or simply cancel this form. So basically, overall the forms options in GoCanvas is a key component that empowers users to digitalize their data collection processes efficiently and customize forms to suit their specific business needs. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the integrations option in which users can connect their forms with external services or software applications. And this integration allows for the seamless transfer of data collected through GoCanvas forms to the other platforms. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the groups under configuration, which it serves the purpose of fostering collaboration and organization within the platform. The great group, just click this button on the top right corner, and upon clicking on it, you can simply enter here the name and the description of the group that you want to create. So basically, in here, users can create groups through the People tool, allowing students or team members to self-join these groups. And also under the account option, from here you can navigate billing, reports, and account settings, which encompasses various functionalities related to managing user accounts, such as to customize notification preferences, manage billing information, and configure general settings like notifications and many more. And aside from that, if you also want to upgrade your account by clicking this upgrade button right here, you will be able to see here the plans that offer by Go Canvas. And as you can see here, they offer Pro and Max plan, amounting to $49 per month for a Pro plan and $79 per user per month for Max plan. And below here, it will show the corresponding benefits included on each plan. So that is just basically how you can use Go Canvas. Thank you.